In this video, I'll be going over the best ways to make coins without spending any money. Whether you have zero coins or millions of coins or anywhere in between, this guide will allow you to understand the market in order to make millions of coins this year. Starting with those who have zero coins or very few coins because you're either new to the game or you keep spending them all. In order to make coins in Madden, you're going to need a little bit. So the first thing you should do if you have zero coins or no coins is to complete some solo so you can pick up some coins from the milestones. You can see here you get 2,000, 2,000 and so on and so forth. Another quick way to get coins early on is completing these field passes through the season one competitive or the program specific ones. You definitely earn quite a bit of coins from doing these objectives. In between doing solos and whatnot, if you have no coins, you're gonna go ahead and buy one 74 or 75 overall player for about 600 to 800 coins. And you're gonna build this set right here. It's called the playbook set. It's defensive playbook. You're gonna redeem it and you can pick any playbook in the game that sells for about 2,000 coins. I picked the Kansas City Chiefs because it sells pretty fast because of the looplets right now. As you can see, it recently sold for 1,900 coins. So we are gonna list it for 2,000 and if it sells, we're gonna make about 1,000 coins at a time. The playbook method is zero risk, but it's very slow and it won't make you a ton of coins fast. This next method is for those who have any kind of coins. This is very little risk as well. You need 182 and 380s to 81s and you get back 184 overall team builder that sells for about 40,000 coins. Here's a spreadsheet that you can see if you make coins or not. You need to have, you wanna buy your 82s to 83s for about 10,000 right now, and you wanna get your 80s to 81s for like under 7.5 thousand at the moment. The market is always going up and down, so you gotta make sure you're buying it for the right price at that right time. For example, if you're gonna be selling team builders for 40,000 coins, and you build one for about 30,000 at the moment, you're gonna make about 5,000 coins every time you build one and sell it. Here are my sniping filters for 80s to 81s. Program is core elite, quality is 80 to 81, and you go by position so you can pick quarterback, running back, so on and so forth. And one important thing is to always go by newest so you can see the newest card. If you see any of these 80 overalls for under 7.5, you can grab them and use them for the team builder set. It's the same thing for the 82s that you need. Search by position, 82 to 83, core elite, buy newest and try to find these for about like 11,000 or under. If you are having trouble sniping the 80s to 81s for under 7.5, you can go to quality 75 to 79 for goal and go by position and try to find 78s and 79s for 2,500 or less. Just like this JK Dobbins for 2,300. Once you find three 78s for under 2.5 each, you can build this set right here, the 80 to 81 exchange. That'll cost you about 7,500 or less. And sometimes these go for a little bit more that you can either sell or use for the team builder set. For example, this card just sold for about 6,000 two minutes ago. I'm gonna be using it to put into the team builder set instead of selling it on the block. This next method is called the snipe and flip. That's mostly for those who have like a medium coin stack to a large coin stack. Great days to snipe are Saturday when we have legend cards or any kind of big promo day. And a good time to sell is gonna be halfway through the week when we get wild card Wednesday or any kind of training rerolls with LTDs in the pack. For example, if we just search by 82 to 83 in Coralies, you can see that 82s are selling for 13,000 unfiltered. And you could go on and on. If you go all the way down to find 83s, you're gonna see that they go for about 15,000 coins unfiltered. Just like this Ryan Jensen for 16,000 coins. But if we filter down, we'll be able to find these prices for a little bit cheaper. Right now, I'm looking for 80s to 81s for under 7,000 coins. I'm looking for 82s for under 11,000. And I'm looking for 83s under 13,000 coins. 84s under 20,000 and 85s under 30,000. Those are the price I'm looking to buy. So throughout the week, I can sell it for more than what I paid and get some more coins. I'm gonna grab this Adrian Amos for 13,600 and throughout the week, I plan on selling it for about 16 to 17,000 coins when the market goes back up. This is my snipes from Saturday. You can see I got some 82s for 10,000, 83s for 11,000, 85s for under 30, like my target prices, 84s for 20,000 and less. So far on Saturday, I spent over 1 million coins sniping all of these cards, and I'm hoping throughout the week that I can make about a 30 to 40% return profit, which means that I should return about 1.3 to 1.4 million in total. This also works for the large coin investments, and that's what you should be doing if you have a ton of coins like I do at the top right corner there. As you continue to build your coin stack up, you can start moving on to Unsung Heroes. This is about a medium to large coin stack you need for this. It requires 
584 overall team builders. I was showing you how to build them for about 30 to 33,000. And if you do the math there, that's about 150 to 160,000 coins total to put into a set like this. Let's have a quick look at the NFC South, Unsung Heroes. Okay, so there is Jamel Dean, Brady Garrett, Matthew Ioannidis, and Jameis Winston. If you are building five team builders for 33,000 total, it's gonna come out to 165. At the moment on PlayStation, here are the prices that these cards are selling for. These 87s are selling for 195, 213, 215, and 209. That means you're getting a profit of 23,000 for Jameis Winston at the moment. Obviously, these prices can change. 28,000 for Matthew Ioannidis, 26 for Grady Garrett, and 10,000 for this Jamel Dean. If, however, you want to build the NFC Divisional Champion, you will lose profit on that. However, you do get back all four of these players for only 97,000 coins. Not too bad if you're looking to build your team, but for coin making wise, you do not want to build the Divisional Champions. You want to stick to building Unsung Heroes. Always check the price of these cards before you jump into it. Next, I want to show you a risky method. This is only if you have a lot of coins. I would not recommend it because it has high risk, high reward, so you can definitely lose coins doing this, but I figured I would show you anyway. In the store, you can buy this strategy item pack for 4,000 coins. You're either able to get a common, uncommon, rare, or epic strategy item. If you pull a silver slash common, you're gonna lose coins on this just like that. This is only quick selling for 1,000 coins, so you definitely lose, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of a method that can help you build that coin stack as well. I rolled 40 just before this video and I got 31 common, 6 uncommon, 2 rare strategy items and 1 epic. At the moment these are the quick sell values of each item and I'm only selling these cards if they go for more than their quick sell value. For every common strategy item I get, I exchange it up to the uncommon set, I will show you those shortly, and then I only exchange the uncommon to the rare set if the green uncommon one sells for less than 7,000. If it sells for less than 7,000, I'll put it into the set. If it goes for more than 7,000, I will sell it on the auction house. And for the rare, if it goes for more than 28,889, I will sell it. If it goes for less than that, I'll just quick sell it. Same thing with the epic. If it goes for more than 61,000 coins, I will sell it. If it goes for less than that, I will quick sell it for 55,000. You can see here, we ended up making 14,000 if we just quick sold everything. However, I did make about 20 to 25,000 by selling some and quick selling others. For all of my common strategy items, I will exchange it to this uncommon strategy item because they're not really gonna be going for more than a thousand coins anyways. No one really wants the uncommon items on their team, but some of these uncommon strategy items do sell for over 8,000 coins, especially the team ones. This one right here that we just got only sells for about 6.8, 7,000 at most, so I'm gonna exchange this one into the rare set. When I get enough of these uncommon strategies that are not selling for more than 7,000 coins, I will put them into the rare set to potentially get a good rare one or an epic strategy item from this set. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see what I do with all my coins, make sure you check out where I built the best budget team in Madden.